Yo-yos are a popular play toy that date back to 500 BC. Modern yo-yos are typically made of plastic and can include complex mechanisms. Yo-yos are capable of performing a wide range of acrobatic tricks to please people of all ages. At MIT's Laboratory for Manufacturing and Productivity, yo-yos are manufactured using injection molding and thermal forming processes. Before these processes are carried out, molds must first be machined on computer numerical control mills and lathes. Mold blanks are inserted into the machine's vise and clamped down to prevent movement. The machine operator checks the tool path the machine will follow to avoid damaging the mold or the cutting tool. Ejector pin holes are added later using a mill. These holes will allow the pins to push the part out of mold after the molding has been completed. Aesthetic features like engravings are added to the mold using a variety of machine tools. Once the molds have been manufactured, the molding process can begin for each of the yo-yo's components. Injection molding requires a heavy machine to resist the high pressures and forces necessary to form adequate parts. Injection molding is carried out using a 30-ton machine. The molds are first integrated into the fixtures used to constrain the molds so that they line up. Ejector pin apparatus is also added at this point. The molds are integrated into the machine's fixtures. These fixtures constrain the molds and prevent movement. Plastic pellets are added into a hopper that feeds the injection chamber. Once the molds are in place, the molds are pressed together and a helical piston dries molten plastic. Once the part has had sufficient time to solidify, it is ejected and the cycle begins for the next part. Excess material is clipped off by the machine operator. Once the injection molded parts have been manufactured, they are bound together with string and stored away for future assembly. Thermoforming takes a heated sheet of thermoplastic material and elastically deforms it above its glass transition temperature. The sheet is first clamped into a movable clamp, which is then sent into an oven to heat the sheet. After the sheet is sufficiently heated, the mold is brought up and the sheet conforms to the surface contours of the mold using vacuum pressure. Trapped air is removed through minute vacuum holes in the mold. Once the sheet has cooled sufficiently to retain its shape, it is removed from the mold. The excess material must be cut away to get the desired part. A punch and die is used to shear away unwanted material. The finished part is then removed from the die. Nice work, Dave. Finished parts are then brought together in the assembly process. Workers create sub-assemblies and unite these sub-assemblies into finished yo-yos. The mates between the plastic parts must be precise such that the assembly holds together while undergoing impact forces. The yo-yos are inspected for quality once assembled and a drop test is performed to 
ensure the yo-yo's structural integrity.